Now, the difference in news and information in Arkansas. This is THV 11 This Morning. Well, your skin isn't the only thing at risk when spending time in the sun. Your eyes could get damaged too. Still ahead this morning, how to better protect your eyes. Sports and activities are in full swing and many people are spending more time outdoors. While most are aware of the importance of sunscreen, doctors say it's also important to protect your eyes. Dr. Dan Hennessy from the Little Rock Eye Clinic is here with some ways to protect ourselves. Doctor, good morning to you. Good morning, Ashley. Thank you for waking up early with us. And this really is not an issue just in the summer months. It is is all year round. It is. It's even in even in the colder months. We want to wear eye protection uh, to uh, shield our eyes from UV light, ultraviolet light, because research has shown that ultraviolet light, whether it be from the sun or really even other sources like tanning beds, can cause certain eye disease like macular degeneration, cataracts, and cancer of the eye, a condition called ocular melanoma. How common is this? How often are you seeing patients come into your office with damage from the sun? Well, it's hard to gauge that really because uh, by the age of 60 to 70, most people will develop cataracts. Uh, uh, macular degeneration is on the rise though, so we know that the exposure to the sun is, is a problem. Is there a particular age group that is more at risk here, or how early on should you be wearing those sunglasses? Well, all of us are at risk. You know, we don't hesitate at all to, to put uh, sunblock on our children's skin uh, but oftentimes we don't think about protecting their eyes so even even children should be wearing sunglasses so first of all you say uh, know your risk that is the, the first thing and always wear those sunglasses don't forget about the kids so even when they're babies they can they can be wearing them they can they can and it's just a matter of kind of getting them trained upright. <laughs> and also watching for secondary exposure. What do you mean by that? Secondary exposure is, is reflected light. When we're around um, uh, places that, that like lakes and the beach, um, snow skiing, light can reflect off those surfaces and cause even greater damage. Okay, if you are out in the sun a lot, how often should you be getting your eyes checked for sun damage? Well, that varies. I, I would say that, that it, 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 when you're young and if you're not wearing glasses uh, or contact lenses, you could probably go every three to five years. Once you hit about 40, you're going to need to be seen about every one to two years, depending on what your doctor suggests. If you do have sun damage to the eyes, what is the treatment that is available? It depends on the disease. Um, cataracts, obviously, cataract surgery, macular degeneration. Um, the treatments five, six years ago were not that readily available, but today we've got uh, a number of very good treatments that are helping with that disease. So they're improving as the they years are. progress. Dr. Dan Hennessy, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. And there's much more information up on the website at THV11.com.